Hey, yeah. traveling time. Hey, just bring us up to date with how you're feeling, your body's feeling, you come back that sort of thing. Yeah, body's feeling good. I've played half a game in the resis, three quarters in the resis, and a full game. So. Body's pulling up pretty well, knee's good. Um, yeah, so that's the main thing now, just stepping stones from here on in. Have you given yourself a sort of a, a plan as to how, when you can challenge the lock on the door for selection? Yeah, well, we had the buy on the weekend, Swan Districts. Uh, we, hopefully I can push for senior selection this week in the Waffle Ones, and then we'll build from there, have a good month or two in that. Um, and yeah, I'd like to, hopefully I can knock on the door for AFL selection. Where do you see yourself fitting in to the Eagles team when you actually are ready and ready to go? Uh, I've been training with the back line, so playing on the small small forwards. So played a bit um, as a small defender, so I do see myself playing that role and I do enjoy playing in the back line. So, yeah, I see myself playing as a small lockdown defender and also can create. You were thrown around a little bit at Melbourne. Uh, do you feel like this is something now where you can focus in on? Were you a bit unsure as to where your best position was at Melbourne? Yeah, I did play forward and back over in Melbourne, so it's good to have that in my game now. No one I can go, if I need to go forward here, I can go up and hopefully kick a few goals. But yeah, um, here it seems to be playing as a backman, so I'll keep my, keep my eyes open. But um, if I do need to go forward, I'm happy to go down there and have a run down there. They need some pace back there. Yep. Is, is that one of your strengths, do you think, now? After you're recovering that, you feel like you're getting back to your full speed? Yeah, definitely a lot. I don't think I've lost my pace, so it'd be good to get back in the waffle ones and then really just test it out there because reserves is just a little bit low standard, but hopefully get back in the ones and really test it out, test the skills out and really get confident with it and, yeah, push. How do you reflect on not being at Melbourne? Do you think you dodged a bullet there, or what's, what's your feeling about it? Um, well, I was over there when we were wooden spooners a couple of years and stuff like that, so I went through it with the boys. Do feel for them. I've still got a few good close teammates over there, or mates now, so yeah, they're in a tough position, but I'm sure they'll get through that. Jim, do you see a real opportunity at West Coast, given the role that they've set down for you, that they've obviously struggled against the small forwards this year, that when you do build up your fitness, you can... Break into the yeah, definitely. I've just been sitting back and taking it all in, just watching the boys go about it. And yeah, there's a spot there if I'm willing to take it. So it's just a matter of me getting the confidence back in my body and my knee, and then we'll just go from there. Slow steps. So there's still half a season to go, and yeah, we'll just take our time with it. There's no rushing me back into it. So the boys have been really good. How yeah. long do you think it would be until you step up to the league level at, at the Waffle? Uh, hopefully this weekend I'll put my hand up for selection. And hopefully, if, I'm, if they want me to play, I'll. Be ready to go. The Eagles had a pretty decent back pocket over the years. You were under. Have you sourced him out, or do you think you might source him out just to get a few little tips? I've spoken to him briefly, but not really about uh, footy. But when we get to that stage, I'll definitely because I work at the Wirra Foundation with him, so I see him once a week. And yeah, definitely, he's a great player for the club, and it'll be a good source to source out as well. So yeah, something in the future I could do. You think you're better suited for forward pocket though, or not? What do you think? Um, do enjoy kicking a goal, so I like being up forward. Um, but if the role's down back, I'm happy to go down and play back. I'm happy to lock on a small small forward and hopefully can run off them. So either way, I'm happy to play there. Because they really haven't sorted that position yet either, have they? It's really sort of been up and down a bit as well. Yeah, it has. So um, yeah, we've got Lekia. There's, there's a few good small forwards there, so I'm happy to slip in anywhere I can, really. Where have you been playing in the Swans reserves? Where have they been playing? Been playing down half back, so. Yeah, it's just a matter of, I did all my pre-season here in the back line, so it's a matter of just building my game in the back line, just getting my skills and confidence back up again, so, yeah, it's backman. Carl Morton spoke a couple of weeks ago to us about the differences between training at Melbourne and here and, and being part of this club. Can you articulate any of the differences that you've noticed? Yeah, well, pre-season I was in rehab, so I was away from the boys a bit. I didn't really get into too much of that, but uh, just training standards, yeah, it's a lot, of, it's high intensity. Um, the, because we've got a lot of older boys here, so there's a lot of experience here, which does help, and the voice is always up. And, yeah, just having guys like Glassy, Curry, guys that have been in the system for a long time, it does help out.